Um, you could hack the game and technically beat him. Hit storm. Nice. Yeah, I mean this is this is pretty much as much damage as I've ever done to anything. And he uses Kushin. That looks very similar to what Faye did. And yeah, it does 19,998 19, damage. I told you, you're not going to win. There's, there, you can, I don't care. Don't try to level up or anything for that one. You're, you lost. Sorry. Jericho, give me the helm. Now with the effect fins out of our you, if we run at full speed, the ship wouldn't be able to stand the friction. It can jump to the Bernoulli effect on the wing surfaces and said, I'll have to look up Bernoulli, but isn't that the one uh, where it's the sequence of numbers? Isn't that? Uh, no, it's the Fibonacci sequence. I'll have to look up Bernoulli. I don't know. I don't know if that's real or not. Full power, maximum speed, let's go try to save him, even though he totally just got his ass handed to him in one blow. And the Yggdrasil. Oh, it starts rising above the surface. It can't handle the speed. Kind of looks like a speedboat when you go too fast on it. Go! We need to save the young master. The brigandier kind of flew out of the way. Oh my god, it's in the air now. Oh, and it crashes right into that gear. What do they call it? The the demon of Elru. It crashed right into him. Young master, are you okay? Don't overdo it, Sig. Trying to make our ship fly. When we get back, it'll take a month to get this heap of junk working again. I saved your life, dude. What was that monster anyway? What? The ship? The engine should have fallen out, but... Oh. Meh. God. He's freaking... Lifting up the Yggdrasil telekinetically, man. What the hell are you? Oh, and the, the, the Yggdrasil cannot handle that kind of tension on it. It's going to split in half. But dropping a warship on me is cheating. Take it back! No way. Dude! The sand pump, effect fins, and propulsion drills are all out of commission. Main engine, support engine, engage the auto scram, switch power to batteries, output ratio 0 0.5, operating time 500! The third bridge, it's ruined! The hangar section, the armament section, and even the pressure shell have been destroyed. We can't stop the sand from flowing in! Closing section down and completely in commence independent operation. Then damage control won't be able to move. The hole won't be covered. That's all right. Either way, it's impossible to save the entire ship. Our priority is to secure the bridge. Gather everyone into the bridge immediately. Save Chow Chow. You're Satan now. You need to get out. I'll have Maison guide you to an escape pod. I cannot leave you all like this. We have no right to keep you here and get you involved. If you see Car and Miang, make sure you pay him back for me. Please show him the way, Maison. This way, please. There goes the escape pod.
Whoa. That was insane. I really was. Oh, by the way, I looked it up. If you do hack the game and beat that um, demon of Alru, uh, you get one experience and no gold. So yeah, if you want to hack the game and beat them, feel free. I'm pretty sure you'll get the same cutscene. What is that? Oh, it's Dora. Yes, many, many teenage boys' fantasies have come true today. Dora has been killed. And the Heimdall must go out to look at it. This is the Dora. It was stationed here? That was careless of me. But its condition. Is it just like the others that he destroyed? And yes, I am going to save right here. Okay. Do I want to continue the game? I, you know, I'm very hesitant because they're asking me, but I'm pretty sure I can just go ahead and continue the game. But yeah, make sure you save, apparently. Otherwise, fuck. And what do we have here? More church music. I know, that's what you guys have been waiting for. I don't recognize... I mean, it's obviously a pipe organ of some sort. Oh, and there's treasure! You can't hide that treasure chest from me! That's kind of a different uniform, isn't it? I haven't seen one like that before. Kaiser! We have some news. Kaiser Sigmund. Oh, he's got pointy ears! He's an elf, Kaiser! We investigated the cause of the recent explosion at the Southern Ave border. Our data showed a large amount of radiation was released from the epicenter. It was probably caused by an overload of the battleship's class slave generator. The cause of this is still unknown. The shockwave from that explosion took out two-thirds of the Ave and Gabler forces combined. Now Ave is in the process of regrouping their reserve units, but that should take at least several days. I, I think he's trying to say we should attack. Found it, eh? I see. We know the gear found was stolen from the 11th base by the Gebler unit in Ave, and in the investigation of the machine, we also caught the unconscious pilot. They found him! They found the guy piloting the demon of Elru. The seized gear had been transported to the capital from the circumstances we believe information was leaked to Ave. How can you say that? All the gears except this were destroyed at Lehan. Judging from the ID signal, this one wasn't with Ave, but was part of a pirate group. Pirate? They know about the young prince and his pirate gang? Man, he thought he was all being sneaky, but everybody's like, yeah, I know about him, I just don't care. Who gives a crap? We've discovered some black boxes which are likely to delay the analysis. Black boxes? That gear wasn't made by us. The stock body was brought in by them. So that's it. What is it? Shouldn't we begin this hold on, Ave? Are you trying to destroy Key's lab? It would be easy to take down Ave, but it would exhaust our resources also. We can't afford to miss this chance. Even if we beat Shikan, Solaris would only replace him with another puppet. What if we exhausted our resources and found ourselves under attack? Anyway, we must still be concerned with Nissan. There is nothing to gain by doing anything now. Seriously? Seriously? You don't even want to win the freaking war? That's what it sounds like. It seems they have arrived. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Is 
Is that the flying saucer that I saw earlier? It looks like a giant uvula from here. It's very attractive, giant uvulas. They use their gears for work? I guess they did say there were civilian gears. Who... what is that? Give me some information. I require additional information. Oh, they got like scorpion guards. Oh, no. Those are goggles. I swear their outfits look like Mortal Kombat. Is that it? Masked woman. Yes, if you can use that, you can pass through the barrier. You'll be free to go where and when you please. Groff? Is he still around? He's rather busy now. I was assigned to be his representative. So we've got Solaris on one side and Groff on the other. Who do we fight for and who do we fight against? Do we have to take them both down? That sounds like a lot of work. I simply wish to observe what is in store for this world. There are so many things you people must know. I am merely your guide. I cannot directly assist you. How you use it is entirely up to you. I don't have to pay you? How about this? I don't kick your ass. And I let you live. Oh, now I want to know what she whispered in his ear. Was it sexual? What a strange thing for asked for. I didn't even know she had a penis. They want me to transfer that gear we captured and its pilot to D block. What's D-Block? We just can't deny him, so see to it! Yes, sir. So these very powerful people, right, that are, that are working for Groff, want to micromanage... Well, there's Faye, so I have to assume that the prisoner that they found is Faye. And once again, here's that little necklace charm that kind of looks like a cross and gay uh, wow I called him gay really I, I didn't even mean to do that on purpose that was a Freudian slip I guess phase face kind of just splits in half all the time I don't know what's going on there oh the necklace is shining and then, uh, oh it's Lehan oh why do you, you do you guys remember Lehan oh that was so much fun I played rock, paper, scissors so much. And then I jumped down a well. And then a little kid asked me to kidnap his sister, saying that she had big breasts. Oh, simpler times. Nobody said I was going to kill a god in my gear. I didn't explode whenever I was pissed off. I didn't have to confront the facts of my own subconscious. What the hell? Like, it's sepia tone. <laughs> it's like, it's like 40s cameras right here. Who is that? Is that like my mom? Faye's mom? God, Faye, you suck at this game. You catch the ball and you throw it back. It's not all that difficult. Watch, she's probably not even going to catch it this time either. No, look, dude, you suck. What the hell's your problem? Uh. Faye, this is your life. I guess I'll go walk up and talk to the kid. Where am I? And what is that sound? It sounds like I'm, like... It, it sounds like I'm doing that, to be honest with you, but I know the game's doing it. Oh. Oh, who's that? You shouldn't be here. And then he's not there. What the hell is going on? Good, you've finally woken up. You have been unconscious for four days. So I had begun to fear the worst. I was about to put a pillow on your face. Who are you and where am I? How did I get here? One question at a time, dude. 
You've only just gained consciousness, so don't push yourself too much. I've been standing up for like 10 minutes. I'm a doctor. You are in Nortun, the imperial capital of Kislev. This is the detention area for criminals commonly known as D-Block. We're in jail. You are now in the living quarters for prisoners in D-Block. Judging by the way you were brought here under the heavy guard of the Kislev army, you are no ordinary criminal. You must have destroyed a whole bunch of crap to get here. Oh my god, it's future punks. Prince Charming has woke up. This may be sudden, but you have to come along with us. The baptismal ceremony? This patient has only just awoke. It is unthinkable that you would try and suddenly carry out your baptismal ceremony on him. You want me to go through hazing? Like, seriously? That guy's been thrown in and... ear as a grim, ain't he? Oh, I hate your accent, Vargas. To let him rest up a few days. Heinrich, that's right. As long as he's coming here as a cream, he's got to follow the rules. And Leonardo, yes, I assume you're the guy with the blue hair. Because Leonardo is blue. Once we're through with him, you don't have a choice in this. If you oppose us, the fair doctor will cop it, too. I'll do what you want. Yeah, I'll kick your ass. I can't go against the battlers. Please forgive me. What a sensible lad that saves us a bit of trouble. Come along now, the champ is waiting. And don't worry, we'll let you return here soon. Hurry up then. And we march up the stairs. Oh, who the hell is that? It's Blanca! From Street Fighter. And they're calling him the champ. Oh, man, it really is Blanca. A man called Champ. Thanks, Suzanne. Hmm. We don't know or care what you did to get put in here, but welcome to D-Block. So what name do you go by? I am the Dragon Slaying Slacker. I know it's not really Champ. I at least have the right to know that much. How insolent. The name's Rico. Hmm. Suave. It's good to have guts if it's the real thing. We know it's a bit sudden, but we need to see how strong you really are. Yes, everybody. Kick his ass! Well, I pose. Everybody leave the room. That is quite a prison that we've got there. Everybody, to the save point! O okay. Oh! Rico sneak up from behind. You're up front, kid. I've got the idea, but I'll tell you anyway. All the criminals sent here are each given a rank. Deciding what rank you are is easy. You get your rank by fighting these four battlers. The fights are one-on-one. -on -one. But now you should have realized the results are everything. If you can defeat these four battlers, you'll be promised a certain amount of freedom. Let the fights begin. But even we have some compassion. I'll give you some time, even though it's one-on-one. -on -one, you still have to fight all four. You should get prepared for the battle. And one more thing, don't even think about trying to get away from here. After all, that's an impossibility. Yeah, you no, you really can't go anywhere except for the save point. And then do... Um, you know, a little bit of healing if you need to, but you shouldn't eat because uh, he pretty much healed himself uh, in terms of equipment. I've pretty much already got my best stuff on him as far as I know. Uh, not even the wedding dress is good. Eh, no. You know, I got, I've got nothing left that would be better. So I'm just going to save and we will take on all four of these guys next time. I hope you have enjoyed these parts. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.